In this class, we're going to introduce you to the free and open source video editor called OpenShot. Now, OpenShot works on Windows, Linux, and Macs, and it's constantly updated. Oh, and did I mention it's free? So let's go ahead and download and install it. Now I'm at openshot.org, but if you happen to put in openshot.com, doesn't matter, you'll end up on this page as well. And by the way, if you want a little history behind the program, just go to the Wikipedia page for OpenShot. And that's wikipedia.org slash wiki slash OpenShot. But I'll let you do that on your own time. Let's come on back to our download page here, which by the way, this is not the download page. To get to the download page, you want to click on the blue download button, not the start now button. And this holds true for just about any download page. Before you actually click on a button, in the lower left corner, there will be a URL that whenever you hover over that button will tell you a little bit about where you're going to end up at if you click on that button. In this case, it's a Google ad. This is the button that we want. You can see it's going to take us to the download page. So click on that. OpenShot automatically knows what computer or what download version I'm going to need. But if for some reason it guesses incorrectly, you've got the buttons here that can take you to the Mac version or the Linux version. So let's go to the download button. After a few seconds, it's going to open up a window here so that you can navigate to the location on your computer where you want to download that file to and then click on save. So you can see here, this is a Chrome incognito browser. So if you're on a different browser, it might look a little different, but as you can see here, it's 170 megs. And depending upon your internet speed, it may take just a few seconds or a couple of minutes. Not to worry, I'm going to speed through this process. Now, while you are able to open it, in most cases, right here from the link in the browser that you downloaded it in, I myself prefer to do a virus scan on anything. This is a safe file, but just out of habit, before I install any file that I've downloaded to my computer, I scan for any viruses. Now then, for the installation, and again, this depends on the operating system, but I'm just going to right-click and then left-click on Run as Administrator. Most of the time, the default language that pops up here is correct, at least ways it is for me. If not, just choose the one that you want. Then, of course, you have to read all this stuff here. Click on I accept the agreement and then click on next. Pretty standard stuff. And if you want a desktop shortcut, leave this box tick. I do, so I will. And then click on next and then click on install. And we're good. I'm going to go ahead and click on finish. I'm going to leave that box tick so that it opens up open shot as soon as I click on finish. And here we are. And that's going to bring us to the end of this class on an introduction to the OpenShot video editor and the download and install process. Thanks for checking it out. You have a great day and I'll see you in the next class.